So we hear from the hotel that the best restaurant in the neighborhood is Rendezvous Charcoal Ribs. Now it's on an alley, it's not on the street, but there's a 700 seat restaurant right here. So are there really 700 seats down here? Downstairs is 450, upstairs 350. Oh, and how long have you been working here? 50 years. 50 years? Yeah. Really? Yeah, all day. So are they good people? Ranty. And do you eat here? Yes. And what's your favorite? Ribs. Okay, good. We're going to try it. Yes. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right. Let's So we're with John Virgos, and you are the owner of Rendezvous Restaurant. You're in an alley, and 700 seats in this underground, me, underground restaurant. Let me preface that. My, okay. my brother and sister and I are the owners, Okay. and my father started it. And yes, we're in an alley in a basement. Charles Virgos, that sounds uh, Greek? It is Greek. Yeah, it is Greek. great Greek salad. Oh, thank you. We appreciate it. It's my mother's, my mother's recipe. Um, we are in a basement, in an alley, and... Uh, um, and it's, it's named after your dad. Right, Charlie Vergas is rendezvous. We just had, we had it renamed a few years ago. And, um, you know, it wasn't any marketing strategy that caused that. What happened is, after the war, he and his brother-in-law started a diner, and there really wasn't enough business for both, for all the families to eat out of it. And so he uh, uh, said that, look, you keep the diner, I'll... They couldn't get out of the lease, and I'll go in the basement and figure something out. So what they did is that he came down here and kind of cleaned it up and started hanging different things, just whatever you could pick There's up. There's things around. everywhere in all these rooms. There are things everywhere. It's, it's I mean, very interesting. Probably 50,000 items. We've got room. shots here of George Bush. Did he dine here, or did you serve we him? Had, we've served George Bush. We served Bill Clinton. We served Barack Obama. We served no Al kidding. Gore. Wow. We served Mick Jagger, uh, Justin Timberlake. So, so, you're, so you're a very famous restaurant. Well, who's are the recipes yes. for, the, for, for, the, for the ribs? Well, what happened is, originally it was just a tavern. It was an 80-seat tavern, and my dad was serving ham and cheese sandwiches. He found this old coal chute, and he sealed it up and started trying to grill different things. And being Greek, you know, Greeks based pretty much everything with lemon or vinegar, yep. salt, pepper, oregano, and garlic. And so he was trying these different things, and they tasted okay. but. He went down to New Orleans in the early 50s and kind of got into the chili powders and the cayenne peppers and the paprikas yeah. and all that. So when he got back to Memphis, he kind of took the Greek seasoning and the Cajun seasonings and mixed them together. And hence, the rendezvous seasoning that some people call rub, dry rub, and some people call our ribs dry ribs, which I, I'm, I've hated that expression because we never call them that because I don't think it's an accurate description of our ribs. I think our ribs are juicy and dry ribs, which we really invented. What, what, not to brag, but dry ribs are what other people do to their ribs to try to copy what we do. Well, don't change the recipe. Well, we're not. We're not, we're not planning on it. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you very much. We enjoyed having you down. Thank you so much. Thanks.